Sorry. Do you reckon that would go in my room? Angle. You can see the bedroom. I kind of blend in. Hello, hi, or welcome to another vlog. It's kind of like a bedroom vlog, daily vlog. I don't know, but we're in the bedroom, so it's a bedroom vlog. I've been to home base as you saw, and I bought some paint. Here we've got a big tub for a little summit summit I've got planned over there. And then I also got this antique white chalk paint. If you saw the last video, I painted this. This was originally grey. And I wanted to change the lampshades, but I was told that you can paint these. So I did a little Google search, and apparently you can. Still worried that when I turn the lights on, I'm going to burst into flame. You basically mix this with water. So I'm going to try that. Wish me luck. And then I'll tell you what I'm doing with this in a bit. I probably didn't need to say that because you'll just see it in a bit. Do you ever think that about vlogs? People to say too much. I don't know if I'm a bit critical because people can say too much and I'll still watch it. <laughs> it is still the same day. I just changed because I'm hot. But I just realised chalky finish. So is this not chalk paint? Oh no. Can you use furniture paint to paint fabric? According to Sweet Pieces, you can paint metal, glass, wood, concrete, and yes, you can paint fabric. Chalk paint is an easy way to update dated fabric. But that says chalk paint. Can you use furniture paint? <laughs> Next question. <laughs> See ya. Is Rustoleum furniture paint chalk paint? Directly onto wood, brick, stone, plaster, or any suitably primed rigid surface. So is it? <laughs> I just want to know. Is that chalk paint then, or what? I think I'm more scared because it's on a lamp. Like I don't know. I know it doesn't get really hot, but on Amazon questions someone say that you can paint fabric. Someone painted an armchair then someone said no yeah what do you know Simon <laughs> oh, I'm doing it screw it screw it but first I need to do a few things oh I just want to be creative you know I just want to be creative creative wow I think I win the chin challenge <laughs> can you I think that's impressive. It's not impressive. It's not impressive. I want to get rid of it. <laughs> to be fair, when I was skinnier, I could do it. It's fine. When I was skinnier. <laughs> when I was skinnier and thought I was really fat. <laughs> oh, to be 18 again and fat. I've put on some videos and stuff, but I think we're just going to wing it and hope for the best. So here's the colour. One, two... Three, maybe? I've got to add water, but no, I got three. She said 20% water, so I'm just gonna add, but I don't know. <laughs> I think this is right. She said you don't want it to be too runny. This is the consistency I've got. Don't know if that's too runny, I don't know. I can always add paint. Here it goes. It just feels so wrong. Do I even like the colour? Is that a bit white? You might be thinking, well, it's a white colour, but I feel like it looks more creamy in there. That teeny pot was £5.50. What is that? Like, you're not even a curl. She doesn't even go here. Painted up to here so I could see it from the front. I didn't want it the same colour as that. I wanted it to be lighter, but is it too white? Am I being picky? Is it because it's just different? Well, actually, if I look at it like that and imagine it that side, I think I like it. It's hard being this fussy, it really is. And obviously it's still wet. Not that that makes a difference. Actually, it could do. Rude. Now, for real though, it's like, it's like, what is you doing? What is you doing? You got priorities? Oh, you, oh, 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 you doing something? You busy? You busy now? Since when? Since when we do that? Since when we since when we do that? Since when we since when we do that? Oh. She a kids club. It looks quite nice from this angle. Fine. It's just you and me, kid. <laughs> yeah, I'll come back when it's dry. Fingers crossed I like it, because I don't I don't really want to pay five pounds fifty for another colour and then 
it not be that much different and it's just me being dramatic, which is probably the case. 20 minutes later. I know it looks patchy because it's wet. Oh, I don't know if I even like it. I, I just, okay, I'm gonna go. I'm, I'm leaving the room. I'm doing my own head in. I'm probably doing yours in. I'm, I'm gonna leave in the room. Ciao. Anyone else just bring their fan everywhere with them? I'll take it to the kitchen if I'm in the kitchen. I'll take it to the bedroom. I'll take it everywhere. You're the best mate, aren't you? Why am I rubbing you up like that? I'm so sorry. <laughs> this is me every five seconds, even though I said I'm gonna stay out the room. Yeah, I still hate it. <laughs> Oh my god, it looks better on camera. It doesn't look like that in real life. This went online because when I typed in about painting it, it said that you needed to use acrylic or like chalk paint or something. And the tester pots I've got that I painted the base with are emulsion. So I just typed on Google and I paint fabric with emulsion and it said, yeah. What I'm thinking is not to paint it with the same colour as the base because I think that would look weird. But maybe with the darker one. There's no harm in trying, is there? Oh, I think I like it better, you know. This is it wet. What we're thinking, the white just blends too much into the wall, whereas that now stands out. So called Naomi, and I just took this off of here because she couldn't see the difference until I held it up. For context, the next clips are me painting the shade white so that I can paint it the darker color like the other one. What? What? No, not the ones you just painted. Just painted. No. Oh no. Here they are both done. That's looking lighter because it's just been painted. And this one, it looks really patchy. I don't know if you can see that on screen. It's where it's drying. So just gonna have to wait and see what it comes out like, I guess. Now that that's cream, the cushions and the headboards throwing me off, like I need them changed. Many hours later. I need to show you what it's like when you light it up. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't have that. That's awful. You need to see this quick. <laughs> Your face. That is what it looks like when it's lit up. <laughs> oh, that's karma. After that, my chair. <laughs> I guess it's back to the trimming board. How does that end up like that? Are these vlogs cursed? This one looks. Oh, sorry, it flickers. I need a new bulb. This one looks even worse. <laughs> oh my god, I can't get over it. Good? Crap. Good? Crap. Sometimes it may be good, sometimes it may be shit. So it's actually been a couple of weeks since I updated this vlog. I've been putting off this particular thing I'm about to do. I don't even know why. I'll probably do it and be like, ah, oh, that was easy. Today we're going to be painting an arch. I thought that I was going to really miss the triangle. But I think that actually this space looks nice even without anything. But I would like an arch here i think it will look really nice with the round mirror which is looking quite wonky right now and if you're watching yes just lampshades in an arch if you know you know <laughs> See, it's, it's been entertaining though no first things first i need to knock on my neighbor's door and ask if i can borrow her hammer again which she lent me before and then come back up and said can i have my hammer back i said oh, i haven't even used it yet <laughs> got it I'm scared I'm gonna mess this up. I don't know if I've got the right stuff. If I can do this, anyone can, because I don't like the measuring part, the, the, that prep. I hate the prep. And what's the most important? The prep. I need to work out where I want the arch to come down. I did originally think I just did that and paint the whole thing, but obviously I need to do the, the lines down. This to the wall. I don't know what I'm doing. The tutorials I've seen have more of a wall, so when they do it, they go more in, but obviously this is only a little wall. So I think you can see where the lining paper ends. I'm thinking I should just do it here. Arch. And then just go a little bit in. Watched Dove Cottage do hers about 75 million times. Still a bit confused, but she's got a lot more wool to work with. She makes it look easy. I'm trying to make a reel as well, so if I can make a reel and do it, you can do it. You got it, you can do it, Bruce. Because I ain't got a bloody clue. 
Sorry, I'm trying to film the reel, so I'm abandoning you. So look, I've attached the pencil. Goes to there. Oh no, it's moved. Right, and then I'm just gonna... Whoop, whoop. But I'm gonna do that on my reel, so you'll see that in a bit, all right? All right, sorry. God love you. And just as expected, something went wrong. Why are you making this line so thick and harsh? And then, boom, it went in the middle of that. Why? Oh, 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 oh. That would have been, take two. Oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. I'll have to paint over it, I think. Comes from here, but it ended up here. I was gonna name this video, how to paint an arch, and I don't think I'm qualified. <laughs> Just get a bit of string on a pencil, they said. It would be easy, they said. Right, so I've managed to do it. I don't know what one is the right one, actually. Just realized I never said what color I'm doing. So I'm actually doing the color of the base of the lamps. Which might seem a bit boring, but this room is so neutral and I actually really like how it feels so calm. So that's the colour that it's going to be, but it actually looks darker on this wall. Wait, does that look like a, a nice arch? With frog tape, I know people have bad experiences, but it's because you need to seal it. So you just get a damp cloth and just go down. I've made that mistake before. Yeah, I'm still using a makeup brush. This makeup brush is just... A great painting brush. Nobody's gonna know. They're gonna know. How would they know? Here it is finished. I'm really happy with it. What do you think? Makes this little dressing table bit its own little section. I love it. It goes with that calm vibe that I'm going for. So subtle, but I feel like it makes a difference, you know? Colour goes so well with green. I guess it's the colour of this. Now I just need to add, say, like that print up there and maybe a couple of others. I'm not sure yet. I need to sort out these disastrous lampshades. So if you've got any ideas about where i can buy some for please let me know of course the headboard and the pillars have got to change to go with this like blush and sandy sort of color i can't stop looking at it though i really love it my plan is the next bedroom video will be a bedroom tour complete that could be next month that could be next year knowing me that's the aim anyway it would be quicker if i knew what the hell to do with that headboard but we shall see thanks for watching you might have noticed i try to go down to one video a week and i just feel like i'm never here so i'm gonna go back up to two but sometimes there might be one i shall see you on sunday no i will see you on sunday give the video a thumbs up subscribe put the bell on comment below and i'll see you in my next one bye <laughs>